So welcome back to the Math Tech Talk. As um, I like to uh, review and give you an examples for a cool tech, today I'm going to talk about uh, a tech which is old, but it's actually very usable and very affordable for everyone when you work on a budget. And I think this is one of the best choices and this price point. So today we'll talk about the MacBook Air because this is kind of the laptop which I found um, which is very um, still good in the 20 uh, kind of 24, 25 because that's what we're looking at and it's still supported. Um, but 2015 to 2017 it will be still good model. So let's review it and let's actually do a quick unboxing. So all right this is the full still original box. Um, why am I talking in general about this MacBook? Main thing is that I bought it for 160 bucks. You can easily find it for like 150 bucks. I saw some users even kind of sna snatch it for around 100 bucks. And I think this is a very affordable price. So we're looking at the MacBook, which is very thin. So it's um, kind of a very thin design. So you can see that it's pretty decent, uh, it's pretty light as well when it comes to the MacBook itself. So uh, I see that originally, uh, so wait, I'm gonna drop this in here, I'm gonna move the box quickly, like this, all right. So we can see that in the box as well, there is also an original charger, which is kind of filthy, but well, I hope it works, so we'll see how it goes. And some <laughs> original instruction to it, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, all right, so what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna open it and I'm gonna talk some details about that actual spec. I can even see some uh, thank you note from the seller and some kind of um, next time purchase. So when it comes to the, um, you know, uh, the decent kind of um, design, it looks pretty good uh it's not really wor worn off so when it comes to the um, connectors we have the magsafe here and the uh, usb um, a which is 3.0 and the jack and on the other side we have the old thunderbolt 2.0 with the uh, usb 3.0 and the sd card so um two usbs one magsafe and the um, jack for that thing. Let's see if it's actually connected. It, it actually it does have a bit of power. Let's see. Will it work? So straight from the box, I can see that I connected the power cable and it works and it charges. That's probably the most important thing which uh, you, you know, I have to try. Then let's turn it on. You can even try the space. If not, there is a power button right here. All right. And we'll just turn it on and I'm going to show you kind of uh, how does it work and kind of the basic review of the spec which is here and what you can do with it and how you can use it which i think it's kind of great for everyone so after turning it on we can see that um it's everything is working and i think this is pretty cool because uh in a way i kind of you know this was the first unboxing so i actually hope that it works i bought it refurbished that's kind of how it works it's running the mac os monterey and this is the highest which you can go when it comes to the OS software but still supported and allows you to work with the majority of the apps uh, it has a 1.6 uh, dual hertz and um, 1.6 gigahertz dual hertz dual core uh, Intel Core i5. So it's also pretty decent. It's not i3, um, it's not i7 as well, but i5 it's actually um, decent. It has a um, 8 gig of uh, RAM with 1600 megahertz DR3 and the Intel HD graphics 6000 1335 um, MB. So this is a, a decent laptop with the display of a 13.3 inch which is 1440 by 900 so it's not like 1920 so it's not like full HD but it's still decent with a storage of 120 uh, gig and within this uh, laptop when it comes to the oh you can actually sorry you can actually see it like that uh, let me just Kind of the big benefits of this uh, Mac is that you can still use it for a majority of the tasks. And I think uh, for um, around 160 bucks, and sometimes you can find, find for around 100 bucks, um, some of them obviously are like over 200, but it's still for 200 bucks. It's a pretty decent laptop with a nice touchpad with multi gesture, which you can use. It's obviously Apple based. So you have, if you have an iPhone, you are all in the Apple environment. So you can use um, airdrops and uh, you can use uh, cloud, iCloud, photo syncing, etc. So it makes the 
um, kind of, you know, the general feel like great. What I recommend this laptop for? Students or someone who's doing very like light jobs, so uh, maybe some words or working with Google Drive or working with some documents or maybe some general Netflix. These the brightness of the screen it, it's pretty cool in the direct sunlight it won't be as great as retina obviously because the new uh, macbook air and pro are embedded with retina this is not the retina but it works pretty decent for a laptop i think and when it comes to the battery life often you can get few hours i know that some users were saying that they even can get around eight hours of work and i think that's pretty awesome initially they had like um with the brand new as i remember years ago they had like a 10 hours battery lifespan which i think it's a very decent for a um, spec which is very very light and very portable because that's kind of what we are looking for these devices so I think that's uh, for someone who's using, you know, the um, kind of a light work, daily office work, it's a great laptop, which is very portable, ultra light. For something which is like heavy, like, I don't know, video editing, like it might, yeah, it might work some basic video editing, like CapCut and some, just some basic videos. But if you have something which is, you know, 4K, then yeah, it's a no-no. Or if you have some, a lot of um, kind of footages, a lot of clips and pretty big, then yeah, it won't work great. It will still run the basic Adobe with Photoshop, Premiere, etc. But obviously it won't run as smooth as you would do it on a high-end laptop. So this is kind of the basic review. I think it's a pretty decent uh, kind of purchase, which I did.